Oh, well, hi. I was just going to sit down in the book Bloom. Now, this is a new book to me. Um, it is not a brand new release. I will be doing a flip through on this in our next session, but not today. Today, I want to work on a wicker basket with you. So, um, this is applicable for any, there we go, any um, wicker basket on any page, okay? So you don't have to have this book to be able to learn applications from this page. I am trying to open my phone real quick so I can set us a timer. So 27 minutes and let's start. So I have pulled polychromos again. This one is so shiny in here. Uh, brown ochre 182. So you're going to need like a light brown. Um, you might want to go ahead and grab white. And then my next shade is 178. It's nougat. Okay. And then my last shade is number 280. And it's burnt umber. Okay. So again, just like usual, light, medium, dark, and then also white. I started coloring this, and then I was like, oh, wait a minute. This would be a good learning tool for y'all. So there's our wicker. Wicker is not difficult, okay? It's, you want to break it down into sections. So I am going to take my lightest shade, so whatever your lightest shade is, and come up through the middle, okay? Just do a bunch of your middle sections. There we go. You're just gonna do a lot of these. I'm actually going to have to stand up to do this. I can't see that far away with my video going the way it is. I really don't have any new stories because, believe it or not, um, I am actually taping this right after I did the hydrangea. <laughs> I mean, I didn't even get up and walk away. So there are new, new, no new stories, unless I think of something. Um... I'm supposed to have granddaughter tomorrow. Tomorrow is Tuesday, so I will miss going to the in-laws. But, um, yeah, just nothing new, really. Okay, so after you've done that, okay, and you see I mainly did the center sections. Then I'm going to go to my next shade. So whatever your middle shade is. And it's going to look different, and you're going to be like, well, that doesn't blend. But if you look, it really does blend. And if you have a TV that you can put your videos up on, you know, if it has YouTube TV on it, or um, YouTube, rather, any of that, that's going to help you to see these better. Don't forget, you can also touch your screen and spread, and it will allow you to zoom in also, okay? I just don't have the funds to do any kind of a good camera setup. I've got my tablet and my phone, and that's it. So we, we do with what we have. Okay, so I'm doing both ends of everything we did before. You can tell I'm not too worried about blending yet. I am doing a little bit um, harder pressure and then lifting on the pressure, but if it blends or not, I'm not overly concerned right now because this is just the first step. And wicker comes in all different, I mean, you can get a wicker that's blue or 
you know, they do, they do spray wicker, so it might be that you decide to paint the basket a different color. And if you're doing that, then you're going to get shades again, but not browns. Okay, now I'm going to come in with the darkest, and I'm going to do the vertical. Okay, that's not all I'm going to use it for, so stick around. Yep, just hang out with me. If you are not part of an online coloring book group, or even if you are, but you're open to another one, I do belong to Coloring Books Keep It Clean. It's a fun group. It is all women. Sorry, guys. Um, it's our little safe place just to hang out. It's um, no ghosts or skulls or anything like that. It's a very um, uplifting, positive place. But you're welcome to check it out, ladies. we go and just keep coming along keep doing those middle spots because this is what we're after in the end okay and we will get there but you're going to have to do this in layers to be able to get that look okay so just take your time with it now after i've got that much done I am going to come back with my lightest brown and I am going to blend. See how it's smoothing out now? Getting rid of that white of the paper. We call that the tooth. Paper actually is not smooth like we think. If you were to look at it through a microscope, it would probably look like mountains okay it is textured and the white is the valleys that have not yet been filled up with pencil so when you push down and you're blending you're taking what was there and pushing it down into those valleys and then what you've added is up on the mountain if that's kind of clear at all and you're going to do your entire basket this way, but I'm not finished yet with this section even. Because we want this to look like it's really woven in and out. So there's more. Yep, there's more to do. If you enjoy the video today and you're not a follower, I hope you'll click that little button down there get some notifications of when my videos do come out. I am going to go ahead and do some more on here. There's just more white showing than what I'm comfortable with. So I'm really, see how I, I was holding the pencil here earlier and now I've really scrunched down on it so that I can really get in there and push that pencil down into those valleys. Really push it in and get rid of some more of that white. Sometimes I leave the white. Sometimes it just adds more texture to a page. But on this, I want to try to get rid of that or get rid of a lot of it. Okay, now I am going to go back to the darkest color, whatever the darkest shade is. See this? That's like a little area that's back there between the wicker. Okay, so I'm going to color that in. Then I'm going to make sure there's a nice tip on my pencil. See how this is right here? That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to stand that pencil up, and I'm going to go over that line. So those lines that were there, go ahead and go over them. That is going to finish adding your depth to your basket weave. Can you see how that's really sharpening up now? Just go over those lines. Now, if you don't want to take the time to do a basket like this, do you remember in our last video how we did the hydrangea? 
and we did the lightest colors in the middle and then we got darker as we came out no yes that's right you could do that with your basket you could color all of this with a lighter shade then do darker here and then darkest around the outside just know that you're not going to get the ripples like this okay in fact as we come over I'm not going to use my lightest shade right here because I'm getting to the edge of that basket. Okay, so now I'm going to come in with my middle shade. And I'm doing all these bits. And actually, this should have been with the lightest. And that's like um, another piece that's woven in there. So let's get that done. I'm back in my medium, medium color. Okay, now I'm going to come in with the darkest. I'm going to finish that up. Now I'm going to come from this edge and come in. from the edge and come in. This is what's going to make that basket look like it's wrapped around. Okay, so just from that edge and come on in. I'm trying to keep this edge kind of straight, but when I come in, watch this. Okay, so I'm taking that pencil and I'm dragging it on the paper and then lifting. And that's how I'm getting this edge to not all end in the same place. Okay, so do that. Then, okay, I've got a black pencil that looks a mess right now. I'm gonna see if we can get this to sharpen up. Is this black really? Um, or is it a dark blue? There's not names on this pencil. Yeah, this is one of those sets that was a freebie with um, Timu that I that I earned. So, but I just want to have that ready. Okay, so then we're going to come back this way. Remember how we came? This is those edges coming back over where the weave is. Okay. Here's some here. Now I'm going to come back with my lightest shade because I want to carry some of this color over there I just want that to be darker. So I'm going to carry this over now. So it does have some of that in there. It's just a darker than what is in the middle of the basket. And if you see areas that need worked on, go grab them right then like what I just did. Sometimes if I wait, then I forget to come back and do that. But see, I'm just blending this. And when you get to the edges over here, it might not be as distinct as the weave is right here or right here. Right here, you can really see what it is. When you get, see, you can tell. But when you get to the edges, it kind of blends together. So I'm just really trying to get some of that blended there. Now I'm going to come back with the black. And you know how I use the darkest shade right here? Now I am going to use the black. And I'm going to deepen right at these corners and then pull it in right there at that top corner and pull it in. Now my edge over there is as dark as it can be without totally just coloring it black. Okay, so that looks now like it's curved. 
Now I'm going to use the same black and I am going to come in here and get some of these darker areas even a little darker. What that does is make this black not feel like it's so heavy. We're balancing out. We talked about balance in the last video. If you missed that, go back and, and look at that video. We talked about how we balance out by using some of the same colors in other places. Okay? So I think this is a good example of that balancing. All right? So now, when we come out and we look, the basket looks closest here and then looks like it's curved over here. Now is when I can take that white, and I'll do this on this area too, okay? But right now I want to show you just right here because this is what's finished. I'm going to come in and just do the centers of these that are coming up. That's going to make the basket look like it's a little closer to you right here, and that's it. So do this that I just did in all of this area. Okay, color your whole basket, just like what we did here, and then come back with the white through these, right through here. Because you can tell they're already white in the picture, and then it gets darker here. So the white's what you want to emphasize right there in the front. And that's how you get that curved look. Look at my hand. I'm darker here, lighter in the middle, and then I go dark over here again. Actually, I have a light on. Let me flip that light down. Now look, there you go. See how we're lighter in the middle and we're darker on the outside. That's what we're wanting to do here. Lighter in the middle, then medium, and then dark. Okay, so let me know um, what you thought of the basket. Again, it's not a hard thing, but break it down into bite-sized pieces. Don't look at this and go, oh my gosh, I have a huge basket to do. It's going to be so difficult. No, it's really not, okay? Do it in little pieces. And what about this, okay? How would we do that? All right, let's take that into a little bite-sized pieces. What's getting light? Right here on the top. So right here on the top, I'm going to do the light, okay? Now, we know we want it to look like it's wrapped around. So on the very edge of that light area, that was my, my lightest shade, I'm going to take my middle shade and just come down a little, okay? Just a little makes it look like it's kind of wrapped around there just on the edges then i'm going to come back from the other direction do the same thing okay you see how i left just a smidge of white there i'm going to come back with my darkest shade because that um, leaf right there could be covering and casting a shadow. So let's get that in. And then just a smidge right here on the edge. Now, see, we broke it down into a bite-sized little piece. Now I'm going to come back with my lightest shade, and I'm going to blend that. Just blend it. Now, do I want some highlights on there? Why not? So we'll take the white and just do a little bit. Just a little bit right there. Light's hitting it, okay? Um, this area here where it's wrapped differently, I just took the lightest shade, colored it, then I'm gonna come in with my middle shade. And do you see this line right through here? That's the fold. So I'm going to come here and do this part. And that wonky area there is just probably part of where they put this through a computer.
to finish the image up. I'm going over that line and I'm going a little bit on the inside of it here. Okay, then I'm gonna come with my darkest shade and go right down the side. That just pushes that back even further and then I'll blend it into that other color. Then I'm gonna come back with my lightest shade and blend. Just blend it. Then what if I wanna highlight there? Take that white and do your highlight, okay? Got it? Okay, let me know what you think about it. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and end this. And I appreciate you stopping by. Again, the name of this book is Bloom. Okay, it is by Rosa Cox. Okay, last week we did the hydrangeas, our last session. And this next session, we're actually gonna do a flip through and show you all the inside pages of the book. Yeah, I think you're going to like it. Okay, so I will see you back in a few days. Take care. Bye-bye.